Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we have the video review of the Noctua NF-A4X10. We also have an unboxing and a written review, so if you want to check out them, links will be down below. But for now, let's head in and take a look at this product and see what our thoughts and conclusions are on uh, the NF-A4X10. So guys, in terms of what the fan comes with, we have the user manual. Now, if you're going to be doing anything special, you will actually need that. We also have the fan, obviously, and I'll put that right there. Uh, we have the four fan screws, which come with every fan as a standard. Four anti-vibration mounts if you don't want to use those fan screws. A 30 centimeter extension cable. A low noise adapter. Now, all of this comes, you know, standard with any Noctua fans. But then we have these two adapters right here. So we have a three pin to two pin adapter. Now, this two pin is uh, the kind of fan uh, power adapter that you will find on um, graphics cards and such uh, where they need a smaller adapter and then we have this little special package here which is called the Omni Joint Adapter Set. Now I will go through this in the video so if you don't know what it is uh, don't worry I will cover it. So guys I apologise I can't zoom in any further this is with a 105mm a lens and this is the furthest I can zoom in um, so basically, this is what the fan looks like. Now, there's a few things I want to go ac across, uh, good points and b bad points. So as the super high quality cable sleeving we expect from Noctua, you can't see through it at all. It has a, a gorgeous feel to it. And basically, it's the highest quali quality cable sleeving I've ever come across uh, on any uh, computer product. That being said, if you look around at the back, it doesn't go all the way to the motor, and it doesn't even go all the way to the fan. It stops about a centimetre from the fan. Um, so personally, you know, I would have liked to see it go all the way up here through the motor uh, in terms of the heat shrink. Just so that all the colours of the individual cables are covered. Um, a few other features that it has, obviously the basic stuff that we get from uh, Noctua fans. So it has the AAO frame, which is the rubber uh, vibration dampeners. Uh, we also have the inner surface microstructures, as well as the stepped inlet design, which you can't really see. Uh, a lot of these are really, really small features on this particularly small fan. Uh, so if you really want to see them, I would uh, recommend checking out the written review. Obviously, it basically has every other feature that we see on the A-Series fans. Uh, so if I, I just go through them here. Uh, so we have the new flow acceleration channels, which you can see is these little ridges on the edges of the blades. Uh, obviously, it, had a, it has a, a much smaller hub size than um, the bigger fans uh, to increase kind of uh, surface area of the blades. Uh, I said we had we have the stepped inlet design, the inner surface microstructures, the anti vibration pads. Uh, it also has an SSO2 bearing system, which is a noxious newest bearing system and it basically um, it, it, it's, it's a kitted out 40 millimeter fan now if you want to uh, go into detail on all the particular features check out the written review but there's a few things I wanted to cover um, so for a fan like this they normally spin around 3500 4000 4500 rpm uh, to get any sort of airflow now to have anti-vibration pads is almost a must in my opinion to reduce uh, noise because a fan spinning this fast uh, will have a lot of vibrations even with its small size uh, so I, I almost feel like it's more uh, needed on a smaller fan than it is on the bigger fans now personally I think this is a, a really nice looking fan uh, obviously that's down to personal choice uh, but out of all 40 millimeter fans out there I do think this is basically the nicest looking fan and I do think um, that Noctua have succeeded when it comes to looks of uh, all of the fans on the A-Series. Uh, some of them less than others, but I do feel that in terms of looks, uh, they look 10 times better than their competition. Uh, so if you're looking for a fan that looks good as well as performs good, um, in my opinion, I would go with Noctua. Now, a small little thing that I like as well, it's not really something to cover in a review. Uh, but this little badge here, it's like a le little metal plate with the, all your little details on, such as the name of the fan, uh, 12 volts, 0 0.6 watts, uh, 0.05 amps. Uh, I wonder how many fa uh, fans uh, this size that you could fit onto a single motherboard um, connection. That would be quite a cool test. Um, but yeah, personally, 
Uh, I think it's a nice looking fan and I'll go on to the adapters now. In terms of adapters it has uh, two adapter kits. So it has the three to two pin adapter. Now this is uh, a basic adapter that we see a lot with uh, Noxious style products. So it's it's essentially the same thing but um, with a different end. You just plug it in and, and, and there you've got your two pin connection. The other thing is a little bit more interesting, this Omni Joint adapter set. This isn't an adapter in itself, <coughs> but it's designed to create an adapter with. So basically what it does is, if I, if I get the stuff out here, you have what is essentially the header to your adapter, so you would plug your fan in here. And then you take these two pins, and this is essentially for like proprietary um, connections. So say you're using it in a laptop that has a 40mm fan and the connection in the laptop is a connection that basically is unique to that laptop. You take the fan that's already in the laptop, get the connection from that, cut it off, connect it through these connections where you take the two pins, um, you, well you take the two cables, you slot one of them in, then slot the a cable from the header that we're going to be using, the connection that we're going to be using, put that in there and then get some pliers and uh, close this here and this will cut through the, the uh, sleeves and connect the two cables um, and then you do it with, two, with uh, the two cables and then you're left with a connection on this side for the three pen header and then the the connection on the other side for the proprietary um, connection. So essentially it's designed so that you can create a connection with meaning that this fan essentially is uh, usable on any header on the market. Uh, basically meaning that if you have a 40mm fan uh, needs and you already have the 40mm fan that came with the product uh, essentially you're sorted because you can buy this fan, use this kit and create a connector. So yeah and there you have it um, and let's move on to the performance. Oh and, and I just wanted to point out that you do get two kit, two sets of these connections so that if you do want to go back and reconnect your old fan you can just cut off the old header um, and connect it back with another set of these connections. Yeah, so let's move on to performance now. So I actually have two versions of this fan. I've got the real fan and then I've got a keyring of the fan. Now this is the coolest keyring I have ever seen. Like it, it spins and everything. It's amazing. Uh, but moving on to the performance of this particular fan. Uh, I'm going to say fan like a million times in, in this video. Um, but basically, without trying to sound like an advertisement, this is the best 40mm fan I've ever come across. Uh, basically, 40mm fans are known for being obnoxious, loud, really high pitched and essentially something that you want to avoid when building any system. Uh, but when it comes to this fan, basically, what I, I assume that they've toned down um, certain features to make it quieter. So it doesn't push a ton of air, it does push a good amount of air for it to be sufficient at its job as a 40mm fan, but it doesn't push uh, like 50 CFM or whatever. That being said, it has a really high static pressure rating of 1.78. Uh, not the highest the Noctua have produced, but then again it is an A-series fan. Uh, but at the same time, it is rated at 17.9 decibels in terms of noise, and that's without low noise adapters or anything on. But that seems too high in my opinion. In my opinion, it's almost sub 10 decibels because I can't hear it. And it, I know a lot of people say, you know, um, I've, I've heard the general consensus is that people can't hear below 20 decibels, uh, but, you know, l l let's face it, we can. But this seems just silent. I can't hear it at all. And it, basically, it is the best 40mm fan out there. Might be a little bit expensive, but obviously I'll get onto that in the conclusion. Performance wise, not the best CFM, uh, not the best airflow rating, but good enough to be sufficient at any job as a 40mm fan. High static pressure and a really, really low noise to, to 
put it, it's silent. To, be, to put it um, simply, it is silent. Compare it to any other fan out there, any other Noctua fan out there even, and it's silent even compared to them. So let's move on to the conclusion, and I'll tell you my overall thoughts on this particular So fan. to conclude, I really do feel that at the 40mm standard, this colour scheme is actually becoming quite popular with the release of a lot of military style motherboards such as the Asus Sabertooth series. Yes, there is the 35mm standard that a lot of them use, but some do use the 40mm standard uh, and so this is a good fan colour scheme to go with. When it comes to performance, I do feel that they found the middle ground between a lot of the uh, specifications. So in terms of airflow, it doesn't push a ton of air like some fans do but it has enough to be sufficient at its job and then it has the really high static pressure rating as well as being virtually silent um, so basically I think they have found the perfect spot when it comes to performance for this fan price wise I do feel that all of the features that it comes with such as the the adapter kits and everything really do make it worth every penny but at the same time I feel like that it was released a little bit too close in price to the NFA9 which is essentially a platinum rating uh, rated fan in our books so uh, maybe 50 pence pound cheaper would have made it a perfect 10 out of 10 in terms of value but you can't go wrong with this fan because it is um, basically usable with every single connector on the market. Now, this received the gold award uh, from Haltech TV, uh, receiving both high, high ratings in value and performance. Not receiving 10 out of 10 in either two, but at the same time uh, receiving very, very high ratings. Now, I do feel they could have made slight tweaks to make it a definite 10 out of 10 in some categories, such as a little bit better uh, cable sleeving and so on, but for a 40mm fan, which is the first one they've brought out, I really do feel that it is a really good achievement, so that is my conclusion on this particular fan. Now I will wrap things up and say goodbye. So that was the video review of the Noctua NFA4X10. Uh, if you want to check out the unboxing or written review on this particular product, please use the links down below. If you want to contact us for any reason, whether it be to ask us a question about this product or any product um, whatsoever, or if you want to contact us to request us to review a product or just for general business, uh, please use the appropriate email address down below. While you're doing all of that, please also head over to the website because there's a lot of content on there that you won't find anywhere else on the Haltech TV network and bookmark it while you're there. If you're going to do all of that, you might as well head over to the Facebook page and give that a a like as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel. I'm Hal Thompson, this has been another Haltech TV video. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.